This is the installation video for Toto AP and EP Washlet Plus wall hung toilets, including the optional auto flush. Build the required wooden frame support as shown in the manual and similar to the frame shown here. The final finished floor level, FFL, must be determined. The mounting bolt holes will be 12 and 5 8 inches above FFL. On the left side riser, mark a spot 11 and 3 4 inches above finished floor and 2 and 3 8 inches from the front edge of the frame. Drill a hole for the 1 half inch water supply line for the washlet. This will equal a 16 and 1 8 inch rim height for the toilet bowl. Open the in-wall unit box and verify all the components. Drill a hole in the frame baseboard for the waste riser. Then frame out according to the installation manual. Note, if installing into a metal stud wall, the exterior wooden members must run from floor to ceiling. Slide a three inch no hub band over the waste riser, not included. Cut the provided outlet pipe to the height of eight and 11 16 inches to center above the finished floor. Tighten and torque the no hub band ensuring the front face is square with the finished wall. Calculate the distance from the top of the frame baseboard to finished floor level and record the measurement as X. Lay the frame flat and adjust the legs so that dimension A is equal to 39 and 3 8 inches plus your X dimension. Tighten the bolts on the legs of the in-wall unit. Stand in-wall unit upright and attach the provided upper bracket. Reposition and secure the auto flush cable conduit if it is included. Secure the cable conduit with zip tie. Set the unit into the frame and level left to right and front to back. Mark eight screw locations. Remove the unit and pre-drill eight one-eighth inch holes. Reset the unit into the frame and install the lower bracket. Snap it into place. Level unit. Use the eight provided lag screws to secure unit to the wooden frame. Note that some of the screws will recess into the frame. Recheck that the unit is level. Connect incoming cold water line through the previously drilled hole. At this point in the installation, you will need to have installed a GFCI electrical outlet per local code. Dry fit the inlet pipe and outlet pipe mud guards. Thread in the provided mounting studs and apply the clear covers. Turn on the incoming water to fill the system. Check for leaks. Flush the feed line to the tank into a bucket. Reattach the supply and allow the tank to fill. Mm -hmm. 
then turn off the incoming cold water. Check for leaks. Install the splash guard and push plate rough in and snap into place. Install the push plate rough in cover. Apply the provided template to the minimum one half inch plywood and mark the plywood for all the necessary access holes. Remember to account for the finished floor level. Double check all dimensions and then drill and cut openings. Don't forget the opening for the GFCI electrical outlet. If provided, pull the auto flush cord through the auto flush cord conduit and expose 3 8 inch of the conduit. The rough in phase is now complete. Now complete the finished wall and floor. Remove the push plate cover and cut the exposed section to the finished wall. Fold the pieces to break them away. Install the push plate receiver. Install the push plate panel. Open the small box containing the auto flush components and verify that all is present. Ensure the incoming water is shut off at the source. Use a 3 8 inch Allen wrench to remove the plug in the end of the washlet water supply outlet and install a 1 half inch NPT nipple and stop, not included. If an auto flush unit is being installed, the stop junction valve is included. Remember to add an escutcheon. Unpack the toilet and build the support bracket with the packaging provided. Remove the mud guards and mounting stud covers. Dry fit the flange pipe and inlet pipe into the wall, inserting fully. Mark the finished wall location on each pipe. Fully insert both pipes into the back of the toilet and mark to the back edge of the toilet. On each pipe, Transfer the marked distance for the smaller pipe, L1, and the larger pipe, L2. Add 1 8 inch to that distance and mark that length from the end of the pipe and cut. Deburr and ream the pipe edges. Dry fit both the pipes and check the distance from the finished wall. This should be 1 and 3 4 inches on the inlet pipe and 1 and 7 8 inches on the outlet pipe. Using the sponge provided, apply seal lubricant to all surfaces and push fully into place.
Adjust the mounting studs to 1 and 9 16 inches from the wall. Install the provided stud caps, leaving an 11 16 inch gap. If installing auto flush, ensure the auto flush cord is passed through the back of the toilet and will not be pinched when the bowl is mounted. Set the bowl so that the receivers engage the mounting caps. Set the provided support under the bowl. Use the provided Allen wrench to tighten the mounting receivers. Ensure that the bowl is level. Open washlet box and check all the components. For this installation, discard the THU6234T connector. Install washlet mounting plate. If auto flush equipped, Locate the auto flush cable and plug it into the receiver under the panel on the right side of washlet. Use the provided zip tie to secure the auto flush cord to the water supply at six inches. Drop all cords and supply lines through the bowl hole. and secure washlet into place. Attach washlet supply hose to junction valve stop. Hand tighten only. For an auto flush install, connect the cable from washlet to the auto flush cable from the wall. Plug the washlet into the outlet. Install batteries in the remote. And check that it is communicating with the washlet. Remember to apply pressure to the left rear section of the seat. Replace button on top of the remote if installed with auto flush. Turn on water at the source and check for leaks. Use a cup or similar to test all the functions of washlet. Use the provided straps to secure cords for a neat installation.
release the seat lock and slide the seat forward. Caulk around bowl to the wall and then reset the seat. Installation is now complete.